Are you ready to take your user onboarding to the next level? In this video, I'll share six essential tips and best practices to create a seamless onboarding experience that keeps users coming back for more. Let's dive in. Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Anik and I'm a creative entrepreneur that specializes in the field of UX, UI and product design. On this channel, we explore all things design, creativity and the business around it, helping you thrive and grow as a designer. In part one of our two part series on user onboarding, we explore the four types of onboarding methods. If you haven't seen that video yet, be sure to check it out. In the second part, we'll discuss six crucial do's, don'ts and best practices for creating a smooth and effective onboarding experience for your users. Quick onboarding. When it comes to onboarding, less is often more. Respect your user's time by only asking for the minimum amount of information required to use the product. Clearly communicate the value they'll receive in return and always give users the option to close or skip onboarding questions. Remember, Building trust and enthusiasm is crucial during this stage. Persona-based questions. To optimize user experience, it's important to identify which persona users fit into. By using persona-based onboarding questions, you can tailor the onboarding journey for the best user experience. This method helps you create a customized journey that meets each user's specific needs, turning them into more loyal and satisfied users. Nudging users to fill empty states. Empty states can be confusing, especially for first-time users. Seize this opportunity to guide users in completing a task like setting up their first project. Offer a quick tutorial or a short video to enhance their user experience and ensure they understand how to navigate and use your product effectively. Encouraging habit building. Building habits takes effort, but it's worth it when it comes to user retention. Nudge your users to interact with your product through engagement strategies like inviting friends, rewarding daily usage, or sending notifications about updates and new content. These actions help reinforce the habit, keeping users coming back for more. Keeping onboarding short and sweet. Long, tedious walkthroughs can turn users away. Keep your passive walkthrough concise and engaging by focusing on the most exciting features of your product. Aim for about four to five screens and try to complete the onboarding process within 60 seconds or even less. This ensures that your users stay interested and engaged throughout the process, reducing friction. To make the onboarding process as smooth as possible, let users know how many steps they'll need to take and where they are in that process. Providing clear onboarding steps and progress indicators helps keep users engaged and informed, maximizing the benefit of your onboarding experience. And that's a wrap on our two-part series on user onboarding. I hope these tips and best practices will help you create an exceptional onboarding experience for your users. To see real life examples of the do's and don'ts, download our free Figma file in the description below. And if you find these videos helpful, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit the like button below for more videos like this. See you in the next one.